This year, we're very proud to induct the 1982 women's tennis team. They won the national championship. The very first time a national championship was offered to female Division III athletes, and they aced it on the very first serve. The 1982 women's tennis team was truly exceptional. During that period of time, there were 12 All-Americans. We set records in Division III, both as a team and as individual players. It was a great committed group of young women who were very determined that they were going to be successful on the court, just as they were going to be successful in the classroom. I started playing when I was 10 years old. I traveled all throughout Southern California playing tournaments. I came in as a freshman and then my second year we got a transfer student, Kathleen McFadden. She was a really good tennis player and then we got Jean Marie Sanders and she was our number one player for the rest of the time I was there. Jean Marie was a very petite player but had just the meanest backhand you ever want to see. And so her style was aggressive and that was one of the things that was really what led to our success. We really were aggressive players. Jean Marie, Kathleen and I were three really distinct different personalities and all three really competitive and I think that we kind of set the tone for the rest of the team in terms of how good we wanted to be and how competitive we wanted to be. In 1981, when we competed in the AIAW tournament, we came in third, and I think that fueled us. We got a taste of what it was like to be close, but we fell short, so I think that inspired us to want to do better in 1982. In 1982, we went into the tournaments as a number one seed over the likes of Wheaton and Pomona. This was an NCAA championship, and it was the first time that women's sports were kind of part of what was traditionally men's championships only. And everybody was so happy to be there and so excited for it. I can remember the venue really clearly and I can remember knowing at some point when we were in the doubles competition we probably were gonna win. And that was really exciting. You know, it wasn't an individual win, it was a team win and it was a win for the coach as well. I remember standing there and reconfiguring every possible way that would ensure that we won. And when they called us and they actually awarded the trophy, all of a sudden it started sinking in. A group of women who just were allowed into the NC2A in 1982, winning that for the school I think was a huge honor. And I think individually it was a huge honor. In looking back 35 years later, it's even more exciting because we were really part of history. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to visit the NCA headquarters for some meetings. And they have a wonderful museum. It's called the Hall of Champions. And I look over and there's this plaque that's commemorating that Occidental College won the first women's national championship. As we begin construction on our new tennis facility, it couldn't be more timely to honor the 1982 women's tennis team. They will serve as an example when we're able to bring our athletes home.